uh, today in our practice, we will uh, bring our attention on Vata Dosha. I'll explain a little bit, not too much about Vata. We'll dive into the practice right after our Pranayama uh, introduction. So uh, as usual, uh, um, with your legs crossed or sitting differently on your heels, on a chair, um, let's begin. Rest your hands somewhere, legs in front of your hara. Uh, sit nice and tall for you. Allow your shoulders to broaden, close your eyes and wait a little bit. Let's enter into the practice simply by arriving in a posture, a, a shape in which we're as comfortable as we can be sitting like this and giving ourselves a little bit of time to stop, to calm down, to become still. And this is not instantaneous, especially when Vata Dosha is in balance. So take a few natural, slightly deeper breath than you were before I asked you, not too deep, Nothing intense, just allow your breath to expand. The qualities of Vata Dosha when it's balanced and Vata is one of the three um, energies where everything that lives is made of in Ayurveda. So the quality of Vata when it's balanced, it's when we feel energetic, creative, and flexible. Easy to remember. So when you feel you have good energy, balanced energy, energy to do everything you like to do in your life, in your day, you feel you have access to your creativity. Everybody has creativity. And you feel flexible, not, not only, and certainly not physically flexible, but yes, sure, it's great, but uh, psychologically, emotionally flexible. So what happens when Vata Dosha gets in balance and continue to breathe deeply to begin your practice is that we may feel dryness at the level of the physical body it can be simply that your skin is dry or drier than usual. Your hair, your ears, your lips, your joints. Uh, internally, it would be experienced as bloating, gas, or even constipation, or a sense of dehydration, you feel dehydrated, or you lost weight and uh, not wanting to lose weight. Dry and lightness of the mind is more restlessness, slightly or quite dizzy, uh, feeling ungrounded, feeling cold when it's not cold, when the circulation is poor, is when our vata is in balance. It can also be experienced as pain and aches and tightness, also tightness of the breath, tightness in our uh, sensation inside the body. So the practice today is to help us balancing and have access to that energetic creativity and flexibility that we can have. Everybody's different. And you know when you're optimally balanced, right? So let's go back to this, with this practice. I'm going to start with Anuloma Viloma or Nadi Shodana, the alternate nostril breathing with your left hand and chin mudra, whether the palm facing down or up, and bringing your right hand in front of your face. Just get ready to start. Try to have both your shoulders balanced, relax, and wide. Exhale. Prepare. Take a deep breath in. Relax your index and thumb fingers. And with your your index and middle finger, and with your thumb, block your right nostril and exhale to the left. I like to start exhaling to the left through the yin channel. 
And then we start on the left side, inhale. With your ring finger or other finger if you're new to this, block your left nostril, release the right side. Release your thumb and exhale. The air will naturally come out through this side. At the beginning, I'm going to give you a rhythm. Inhale to the count of four. Block your right nostril. We don't hold the breath. Gently release the left side. Exhale to the count of four. Inhale to the left. Block the left and exhale to the right. Continue like this. If you don't like to count, don't count. If you find counting is helping grounding you, just count. Respect the rhythm your breath is open to right now. Don't force it. It will change. It may become clearer. or more subtle, one of the two nostrils may be a little bit blocked, so you cannot breathe as deep from that side, don't worry. Just be aware that maybe you are a bit worried if it's the case or for whatever other reason. And be gentle with yourself. This is a grounding exercise for the mind and the body. Continue. Try to relax your gaze. If you prefer to have your eyes open, you can, you can uh, simply look down. Ideally, the eyes are closed. Continue. We're resting our senses. Relax your jaw. As much as possible, allow your shoulders to be relaxed and wide. Continue. We're doing a full three minutes today. Nadi Sodana. more cycle repeating this for at least three minutes so up to ten minutes it has the effect of balancing the right and left hemispheres of the brain it improves mental clarity concentration and perception Help clearing all the mental and emotional patterns. And it does help also meditation. Take your time. And the next time you exhale through your left nostril, just release, complete the exercise, release your right hand and pause. And feel the effects of the practice. Sometimes that's all you need. 10 minutes of Nadi Sodana. And you're centered and have access to your energy, calm energy, and you have more clarity. 